Hey guys, welcome to uh, this radio video and this is another uh, little test of my uh, new SDR receiver uh, which you can see here plugged into my laptop right there uh, so this is the uh, EasyCap DVB T FM DAB uh, receiver it's basically a $30, $40 receiver that uh, actually is um, it was made for TV reception but uh, with some special software and drivers it's basically a wideband receiver now uh, this second test I've plugged in my outdoor antenna which is the wire that's going here um, and it does give better results so here uh, show you a little bit how to tune well you can enter the frequency at the top so you see here top and uh, so if I go into uh, close to the weather, no what weather, um, you can see here, five, four. There you go. It's slightly off frequency, but there's adjustments for that in the receiver, uh, in the program itself. So this is what it, we call basically a software defined radio. So you can tune around on the different signals and what's cool is that you see these spikes of signals that appear and disappear on the bands so you can go and tune to see what you're trying to listen to and you can move the waterfall and try to get the different and here is a taxi Like I said, it's a little off frequency. Sometimes by moving a little bit. Here's another signal. We'll keep it. You see signals popping up on the display. That's digital modes. So every time you see a pop up of a signal, all you have to do is just click on it. You see. Here. That's another one. And these are all digital stuff. So it's pretty cool. The weather. If you go into the ambands, for example, we can go to a 2 meter amband, 146 megahertz, and see if any signals are present and click on them. It does have better reception with my. It does have better reception with my uh, outdoor antenna, but uh, you can see that it's basically a very, very low uh, quality receiver. With the low supplied antenna, it's uh, not really easy to listen to much, uh, any signals, basically. So, uh, just have to go around, search for these signals that you want to listen to. As you see, there's a squelch, so it lets you uh, basically go through the uh, different. So here, let's see what we can hear. Anything else on the band? There's something here. Digital signal. This is our local uh, police frequency, uh, which is basically 154240. Uh, 224220, two, 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 sorry. Um, so you can see that it, it does work. It's not the best dongle you've ever seen, that's for sure. I've seen better dongles than that. And um, you just make a listen to the different signals depending on the band where you are and uh, try to listen to uh, any signals going through and of course you can make everything much more here you have your uh, on the right side of the screen this little uh, button that you can uh, change the uh, area of uh, frequency range that you see uh, change the contrast depending on what you want to tune in
and increase or lower the contrast and try to see signals that are much weaker. So for forty dollars, well, you'll have a lot of you'll have some fun. Uh, an outdoor antenna is probably best. Um, as you go up, I've seen that it's a little deaf in the UHF bands. It's kind of fun to uh, basically just go on the different bands, see the little spikes, and uh, once you see one, you uh, you know basically want to tune in on that spike and see if there's uh, what's interesting over there. Um, So you see that it's a little better today. My uh, test actually makes you uh, at least hear different signals that are available on the um, the band. Uh, yesterday with the little antenna that's supplied, you just don't catch much. Uh, what's interesting also, I've noticed, if uh, for example I go uh, tune uh, 98.5 and press enter and then put it in wide FM. You see that it has a um, RDS feature um, on most of the channels. So we'll try. Here it goes. Here it says Barracuda. You see the song name Barracuda by Heart. So um, depending on where you're tuning, you'll see um, RDS information, which is pretty cool. For example, I could go here. Another. Here is the weather. You see that the weather uh, from this station, 96.9, giving us weather. So all the RDS information is there. Quite cool. So you gotta put it in perspective. Uh, for the price of about $30, $20, 30 40 depending where you buy it. Uh, you can't expect too much, especially from such a wide band receiver. It was made for TV, so it was made for very strong signals. And actually it does really work very well with um, FM stations on the FM band. If we go on 88.5, so the 88.5 is where our local CBC and you see here Radio 1 on the display so it's pretty nice uh, so this was the second video to show you really much more working device with my outdoor antenna uh, does really receive much more signals so I uh, hope you enjoyed this uh, the little video and um, if you have uh, Eastern, 30 bucks to spend, well, you can get this on uh, dealextreme.com and uh, even on eBay. Uh, just look for the EasyCap uh, SDR receiver and you'll uh, have tons of the links where you can buy it online. So thanks for watching, 73.